And we are alive. Uh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Sobek Sports, and I'm so back with another episode of the podcast. And we're, you know, we're three weeks into the NFL season, and everything's gone to uh, two weeks. Absolute. Two weeks. Well, we're on our third week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything seems to just all our predictions at this point are just moot. Um, you know. Yeah, I mean, who would have thought that the Vikings and Saints would be two and zero to start the season? And for you know, real, yeah, and even the Steelers as well. Like, oh no, I I knew that, I knew that. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I I knew that. I, I knew that as soon as as soon as you know, as you, you know, you know, you knew I knew that. You know, you knew I knew that. But yeah. Anyways, uh, if you are tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're happy to have you um be a viewer for this podcast um yeah it's gonna be a very long nfl season so if you don't mind like and subscribe to the video uh comment down below what you guys thought about it and you know we're gonna start off with this video pretty much but the same as we always do on thursdays and that is with sorry nfl predictions you know week three predictions are coming up you know this Thursday night game. Dude, I'm, going, I'm just telling y'all right now, I'm going 16 and 0 this week. Uh, this Thursday night game is just no. Who I, just don't, I just like, uh, like I just don't understand like Thursday night football games. Like I never understood like why they gave us like the worst games. Like okay, sometimes they do give us good games. Like last week, obviously the score for the Bills and Dolphins was like atrocious, but it was good. It was a good game on paper, right? No. It was not because Tua got hurt as well. No, 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 but on paper, like before we saw the game, we we're like, we we're all hyped. It was like Dolphins, Bills, you know, like yeah. the two good teams. This, like, and Chiefs, obviously, the old home opener. I don't know if that's Thursday Night Football, but the, the home opener, Chiefs, Ravens, I like that. But then the next two weeks, like this matchup with the Patriots and Jets, atrocious. And then the next one is with the, what's it called? The Dallas Cowboys and the Giants. Like, I don't uh, know why we come up with these. Who. Listen, if anyone, listen, if Roger Goodell, and I'm pretty sure he has an entourage of people in his, in his camp, right? You know, mm -hmm. or wh whoever was the spokesperson for Amazon that made this deal happen, get yourself an application at McDonald's because Jesus Christ, man, you just got fleeced to the next level because what are these matchups in the first place? I remember last year we had the Bears and the Panthers at one point being a Thursday night football game. And, you know, you have uh, one of the Thursday night football analysts or someone would be at like that. Oh, Well, okay, here's the thing. Bears, Panthers. Second. Here's the thing, though. Uh, Bears Panthers made sense because the storyline. Like, mm -hmm. obviously the game sucked. Like, no, it definitely sucked. Yeah. Like, like it did suck. And Justin Fields didn't play that game. It was Tyson Bastian who played that game? Mm -hmm. And you know, we we all okay. Let's be honest. Like, yeah, the pan we all thought the Panthers sucked, but we didn't think they were gonna be that bad. Like, I, I thought they would be like a top five pick. I didn't know they'd be the worst team in football. Um, top because we all, like a top five pick, like. In the range, like of how bad they were, I thought they'll be a top five pick. Well, but it's looking they're... like they're going to be. Speaking of good, good segue, you know, mm -hmm. into talking about Bryce Young and the Carolina Panthers because he got benched yesterday, and it was kind of like the writing was on the wall because you know he did not play good whatsoever. Um, he looked very pedestrian. Um, did not look like a number one overall pick, but you know the the. The argument is being made where is Bryce Young the biggest bust or QB bust or number one overall pick bust of all time? I'll say no. I'll say no. The reason why I'm saying no is because of the situation he was put in. Look, I understand, like, you know, like when you're the number one pick, excluding Caleb Williams, like he's he's an outlier. He's 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 been in the best situation. But uh I mean kind of. The offensive line sucks. But Bryce Young, let's just let's just go back to when they traded for Bryce Young, right? They gave up DJ Moore, his number one receiver. It would have been his number one receiver, right? They go DJ Moore, right? Then they give up the first overall pick, which is Caleb Williams. Uh, and then they give up 
uh, uh, their second round pick. They give up so much picks for them, right? And then they get rid of Brian Burns. They get obviously Brian Burns is on the defense, right? And then you hire a coach, Frank Reich, who clearly did not want Bryce Young. He wanted C.J. Stroud. Like, it, it, that's true. And David Tepper did not care what the coach wanted. Usually the coach is in the process of who he wants for the quarterback. They're usually, the coach is in the process of scouting for the quarterbacks, and they have to be in agreeance. Uh, uh, agree, agree with the GM and the, you know, the owner, obviously, of who they're drafting. And clearly, they, they just... It weren't in agreement, and they drafted Bryce. Put in a worse situation. I mean, your number one receiver is Adam Thielen, for God's sake. Um, and you know, last year just sucked. But I feel like Bryce Young at the end of the season, you know, he he was playing decent. I think. Like, I think the one game he had against the Packers that was really yeah, that was good. my favorite game, man. That was that was that was really good. I mean, Bryce. Yeah, I think it would have been my favorite if they actually won that game and had better. It's just Thielen management. sold. Thielen sold there, but like, okay, that, that's besides the point. Um, I think Bryce. The problem is the reason why I can't call him the biggest bust is like he, he wasn't put in the right situation. He wasn't given a fair chance. Now, I'm not putting everything on the Panthers because obviously they're a very dysfunctional franchise. But at some point, if you look at the film, Bryce Young is not playing good either. Like he has open receivers and he's missing them. Like he's he's taking sacks. And I understand like he doesn't have the best receivers. But you gotta do. You gotta make do with what you have. And a prime example was CJ Stroud last year. Yeah, he has a way better team. Way but better staff. Way but better Nico, organization. But Nico, but Nico Collins wasn't that great before CJ Stroud came. He elevated Nico Collins. Tank Dell was a rookie. Dalton Schultz, I'll admit, he's he's a solid tight. He was a solid tight end. But Noah Brown, not he's all right. Like he elevated that team last year. We we were not giving credit where credit is due for CJ Stroud. Yeah, he was put in a better situation, but he also elevated his talent. Another thing with Bryce Young is, before I get back to you, is his size. I think his size was a big issue. And, you know, people are saying, like, you're five foot nine, you're 175 pounds. Like, it's not going to work in the NFL. And I guess he was put in a bad situation, man. I, I'm not ready to put him as a bust. I think the Panthers mishandled the situation. I feel really, really bad for him. And I just hope the Panthers trade him. He's to 5'10". A, Okay, five ten. Oh, I'm sorry. I, He's I missed the same one. height as Kyler Murray. Yeah, but okay. Here's the thing with Kyler. Kyler, at least the difference with Kyler and Bryce is Kyler makes up for it for his mobility. He's very mobile. Like Bryce is mobile, but he's not as mobile as Kyler. Kyler is yeah. a very mobile quarterback. He makes up for it. And Kyler's six foot. Kyler's six foot, by the way. Right, and it's kind of crazy that they both came from. Wait. No, Kyler, Kyler didn't. Came from right out. No, no, I was, really didn't. But I know he played. What did he play? Louisville? No, no, that was Lamar. That was Texas Tech. Or I forgot. I forgot where Kyler played, but he was really good. He was also really good in baseball. But that's he, besides the point. He was also, uh, uh, what was it? Like uh, Heisman, right? Yeah, he won Heisman. I think. I think he did. I'm, oh, Oklahoma. Bryce also. What am I talking well, about? Yeah, Oklahoma but, Sooners. So yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a Lincoln Riley product. No, mm. here's the thing with Bryce, like. He's good. Like he was a good college quarterback. Yeah, he was. According to people, they were. He was the most NFL ready and presumptive uh, first overall pick back then. Dude, but the Ryan Poles, is, I'm so happy Ryan Poles did not pick him, bro. Like dude, he was going to work with the Bears. But you don't understand how much like back then when the Bears were three and fourteen. You know, deciding oh, yeah. whether to keep Justin Fields or move off and go right get Bryce Young. Right, but at the end of the day, you had to also keep in mind as well, like. No matter who they would have taken, they would have taken CJ Stroud with Frank Reich. If Frank Reich got his choice, wouldn't have really have wouldn't have made a difference because yes, he would have marginally been better than Bryce Young is because CJ Stroud, I think mentally, seems to be all there than Bryce Young was because Bryce Young, I think, it sounds like okay if you think about it. What have we seen from Alabama quarterbacks? You know, like Tua, like Jalen Hurts, uh, Bryce Young. Uh, is there anyone I'm forgetting? But, you know. Jalen Hurts. I mean, I don't know. Is he? No, he's no. Oklahoma. No, he's Alabama. Oh, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is oh, by Alabama. Oh, Mac Jones. Like. You already said him, but yeah. No, no, no. I said, I said, uh, was it Tua, oh, Mac Jones, yeah, Jalen Hurts, and now Bryce Young. You know? Well, Mac. Okay, wait. 
Mac was good for one. Mac year, was but good, yeah. but then he got ruined because of yeah. Matt Patricia and all that stuff. Being yeah, Matt yeah, Patricia but... being an offensive coordinator as a like that's next nice level of negligence, yeah. bro. Like, but to my point, it it just seems like he was set for failure no matter what. Like, I don't think he there was anything he could do because not only did he come from a school where you know it's a very like. He was reliant heavily on his offensive line. He was reliant heavily on his receivers because Alabama's really good receivers. And the head coach was really good. It's a very powerhouse school. Like, obviously, you're going to thrive there. I'm not saying that he would have thrived. He would have been a bad quarterback otherwise. But, like, I think that the duality of that organization or that time in college coming into the NFL into a dysfunctional with a functional organization to a dysfunctional organization really took a toll and really added this to this level of a learning curve for Bryce Young and not and to kind of further you know expedite the issues that already are there you have a like an owner that's incompetent and doesn't give you anything to work with just because he thinks on a whim that, oh, we're not winning. Let's fire a head coach. Oh, we're not winning, right? Let's make some more dumb decisions. And let's be the most disliked person in the NFL. And if you think about it, the NFL also has to probably take into account. Because, dude, did you see those prices for those? Like, I know this is off track. But did you see yeah, those no, prices for those tickets going into, like, the Panther? Like, selling for $2? No, 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 okay, okay. It was like two dollars before it. fees and all that, but yeah, 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 insane, right? And it's not even bad seats too. It's like two hundred level, like that's Panther Stadium is good or decent. Uh, here's the thing though, bro. Like, do you really want to go to the Panthers? Like, you want no, to really I'm watch? Just the saying, I'm just saying. At some point, the the owners, the association has to like come together and be like, hey, man. Like, I think I know that it took forever for them to come and like chase Dan Snyder out and Dan Snyder ended up folding, which is kind of crazy. And I think the reason why the commanders are trying to, you know, have a resurgence back, they're still bad, but having a resurgence nonetheless, because after being free from a cancer, you're going to improve nonetheless. And I think you're going to be in this state of ineptitude as long as Depp Tepper is there. But look, you know. I just I, I agree with you. Like the situation where Bryce Young was this terrible, but Bryce Young has got to have some accountability a little bit. Like I'm a not little saying bit. He doesn't. I'm just saying no, 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 no. I'm like I, I like Bryce. Like I, I want him to succeed. I want every quarterback to succeed. Like it's just it's just how it is. I like you know, you want everyone to succeed, you want every draft pick to go well. But let's be honest, the film doesn't lie. He he's he's missing okay. As bad as a fr- like as bad as the Panthers have been, they also did some stuff to improve the offense, right? You draft Xavier Leggett. I look, I heard he's good. I know you should maybe get Keon Coleman. He probably would have been better. But Xavier Leggett's pretty good. You get Deontay Johnson, who's a veteran, good receiver. He, he's not like elite, but he's a good good enough receiver. You still have Adam Thielen. And then you get Dave Canales, who revived Baker Mayfield's career. Like I think like they they tried. I I know you should have given tried, him more. but at the end of the day, remember you got to give him more games. I, in my opinion, if Bryce Young kept playing like this till week eight or something, like if no, he that's did too long, week, that's way too long. And the thing is, keep in mind he's the number one overall pick. It doesn't matter. Know? It doesn't matter whatsoever because if you're if you lose the locker room by playing Bryce Young because rev veterans and everything don't give a crap if you are if you are the number one overall pick if you don't perform because look at the stats like he the Saints game 161 yards the Chargers game 84 yards and zero touchdown three interceptions like that is not. And the thing I is, remember, he's also, and he's also I, taking sacks. He's also like I'm not saying that. Listen, he is very pedestrian. At least the reason. And the thing is, yes, Tepper gave uh, uh, Canales uh, a six year contract, but that doesn't mean that he is going to live out that six years. Remember, he, Matt Rule before had the six, it's like a really big contract coming out of Baylor, and look how that turned out. 
So the thing is, with the ownership right now, it is very fluctuating. And he will put his foot down. The thing is, you could tell how influenced this decision was. Because out the gate, uh, Brian Canales or Canales was like, hey, Bryce is our guy. Bryce is our quarterback. And then oh, and less than 24 hours later, he goes, breaking news, Bryce Young has been benched. And I wonder who had the... I just... The thing I, I, understand, I understand what you're t- saying. Like, you know, Tom Brady... Like Tom Brady said this about like quarterbacks. He said like, "Oh, we're rushing quarterbacks now. Like they need like they're expecting like because like people like you know if you want to contend for Super Bowls, you want to have a quarterback in your your rookie deal and stuff like that." And look, let's be honest: Are the Panthers really going to contend? Are, like, are they going to like win more games with Andy Dalton? I don't think so. The right. team is not. The team no, is not good. Matter. It doesn't matter. It's still because think about it. You you're only thinking from the perspective of the team, but you also have to think about the perspective of the players fighting for another contract, whether it's from this team or for another team as well. So they need Dalton a quarterback. Dalton is not giving you that. Dalton is not giving you that. The no, other thing, Dalton think- gives a. I'm sorry. Dalton right now will give you that more than Bryce Young. He's a seasoned veteran. He will give you enough for them to work. With. I think you're forgetting how bad Dalton is. He was on the Bears. He was terrible. He's he wasn't that bad. bad. He was not that bad. He was like decent. He was pretty. He wasn't. Listen, he was. A, he's a backup. I'm not saying that. No, he's about. They're going to probably be the first overall pick. But the thing is, you'd rather have some offense than zero offense right now. I just I just don't think the Panthers are ready to draft another quarterback. I know they're not, but they're such they're in such turmoil right now where, you know, the idea of potentially drafting another quarterback is in the realm of possibility. And whether it's this draft or the next draft, who knows? Well, it got to be this draft. If you're if you're benching Bryce Young, it's basically they're saying we're drafting a quarterback. Right, but and you never know either. because David David Tepper, you, you know, you have a guy that that will listen to the media, whoever hypes up whatever quarterback is like Shadur Sanders or all Shadur. And keep in mind, if if there's anyone to pull a Eli Manning, it's Shadur Sanders and Deion Sanders, dude. There is no, 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 no. they said that. He he said that Shadur is not coming to the Panthers, first of all. Right. He's, so, not, he's not even the best quarterback. It's gonna be either Carson Beck or I think it's Carson Beck or Quinn Ewers. Like you got like yes. that's how bad the quarterbacks are. Exactly. Like, and you never I know. Do you never know. The thing is, you could be have bad plays. you could be it could be a bad like on paper, it could look like a bad um like QB draft on paper, but you never know how good these quarterbacks could be. But I don't think any quarterback would survive being on the Carolina. No, Panthers this reminds right me of like the 2022 draft class, man. I, I, I'm I, telling I, you, Ryan Poles said that uh, that franchise back 10 years or so because not only do listen, say for an example, they did not trade with the Bears. All right, the Bears kept that number one overall pick or traded with someone else. Right, they they stick uh, at where they were. Uh, and then the following year, they were really bad. You know, they were just really awful because they, yeah, you know, Caleb. they continue to be awful because, you know, even with Bryce Young, they traded all their assets. But at least, like, if they didn't, they had DJ Moore or whatever. To be honest, man, Caleb is okay. Let's just say they did that and they're the worst team. Caleb would not go there. Like, he would not go there. I, he wouldn't. He would but not go there. I don't think, listen, uh, all right, let's, let's leave aside, you know, let's do no, no, they would have gotten like, okay, let's be honest, they would have gotten like Jaden Daniels or Drake May. Probably. Okay, let's say Taylor, for example, would've, he would have actually pulled an Eli Manning there, like for sure. Right. For sure. Okay. Fine. 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 Let's say that. All right. Let's say yeah. in a hypothetical set. Br- like that iteration of the the team, th- they will also be bad too. Like at that point, you're just like Wait. either way. Like, hold on, I, I lost my train of thought. No, 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 no. no I, I know what you're trying to say. Like, it would have been better for them to not trade with the Bears and right. they the next thing, year. Yeah, because the thing they is, if they, yeah. yeah, if if they like just pretty much just stayed put, you know, and just continue to like you know build the team rather than go for the the you know the luxury piece. It's like that meme where it's like the the Corvette in like a uh, parked in front of like a ratchet house, you know, like rackety house, you know. So that's literally the Panthers organization with DJ Moore essentially. But no, 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 no. I I understand that, but. Let's be and honest. CMC, CMC dodges a bullet too. Jesus. Christ. No, let's 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 be honest. There, like the the Panthers, 
they would have been. Uh, I the problem with the Panthers, man, it's like. I don't know which direction they're going to go, right? Because they're not going to go any direction. That's the no, thing. No, no, no. Not. Wait, 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 hold on. They have Andy Dalton, right? Let's just say Andy Dalton sucks. Like he's terrible. He's like he's worse than Bryce Young. Like I don't think that's happening. But let's just say the offense still loses. You're like you're zero and eight with Andy Dalton. Like you're the season's zero and eight. Do you go back to Bryce Young? You can't. You can't go back to Bryce Young. You you already ruined the guy's confidence. He's going to play way worse. They try to do that with the Jets with uh, Zach Wilson. After benching him for Mike White, it didn't work out. So my thing was like Bryce Young, because I'm going back to Bryce Young here. The best thing for Bryce Young to do is request a trade. He's no one's gonna trade for him though. That's trade for a seventh round pick. Be a backup. Be a backup for right now. Learn what the Panthers should have done. Is okay. Fine, you traded for him. Fine, you want him as your franchise guy. That that's cool. That's that's cute. Oh, you can do that. What you can do is do what the Packers did. Sit him behind. I don't know how to do that because no, no, no okay, I understand. Okay, the Packers are different because you have a Hall of Fame quarterback in Aaron Rodgers. But okay, let let sit him behind Andy Dalton. Don't rush him. They should have not rushed him. I feel like they they should have let him sit behind Andy Dalton, see his mistakes, and when he's ready to play. Go out there. And also, I didn't understand why he didn't play in preseason. It made no sense for him to not play in preseason. Yeah. The preseason just, one was very egregious, in my opinion. But and I, I don't know. I hope, I, look, I, I know we're going a little too long for this, but I hope Bryce Young has a great career, man. I, I think, like, he's, he's, I think he's, that's kind of past it at this point. Unless he, like, <laughs> goes somewhere where, but like, you know. even Baker said his, his story's not over, man. I, I, I believe in you, Bryce, man. Just go out there. I hope you go. To, there's a rumor that he might go to the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins don't want him. They got Tyler Huntley right now, so they're fine. I but, think. I think. I think a great situation for him would be like going to the Rams to back up with uh, uh, Stafford until Stafford retires, and then maybe you can have Bryce with I Sean think McVay. Bryce is kind of cooked right now because it's like you know it all depends on. I mean, he's still got. He's, he's still gonna got be like talent, looking for strength, bro. Like that, he has to work from there right now. No, he can be a backup. He can be a backup. He can be a backup. He's too kind of. He, okay, dude. Here's the thing: you're the number one overall pick. You're gonna you know, always be back. Okay, being a number one overall pick doesn't matter. Like it, it doesn't at the end of the day matter because it does. It doesn't. You see, you, it, it, that, that, that ship is sailed. That ship is no. sailed right now. Like no, 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 no one cares. No, no, no. No, 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 it does care because Baker Mayfield got a lot of opportunities because he was the number one overall pick. Right, but he asked him. No, 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 no. That, that's false because, no, no, Yes, he gave us the number one overall pick. But he also was able to throw 4,000 yards as well. Or not 4,000 yards, but he was able to take the Cleveland Browns to a playoff game and win. He has the uh, the stats to back it up. He had a winning season as well. He also so was put in a way better situation. No, the Browns went 0 and 16 when he first like, yeah, like and then guess what? They traded for OBJ. Yes, I get that. But I'm saying I'm talking about later on. Like when the the Browns are yes, are slight crazy enough, a slightly better org- like organization right now than the current iteration of the Panthers. But you have to keep in mind Baker got these opportunities because you had seen some talent from him. He was able to go to the Panthers and leave the Panthers and was improving a lot better because you know how bad the Panthers are. So he had the thing. Bryce, what has he had besides being on the Panthers to his dis- like to his disdain? It it's not his choice that he was on the Panthers or he he was put down. I didn't know tr- Look, I'm I'm not saying you might be right. He, you might be right. His career might be cooked. But we don't know what Bryce Young is yet. We don't know. I cannot label him as a bust until I see two full seasons of him playing football. I, I just can't label him as a bust yet. It just I don't think it's fair to him. It's not it's not fair to him to call him you a bust. It's fair, but at the end of the day, it's like what like can you the really call him the biggest bust over Jamarcus Russell is just crazy to me. Like he He's not given. Okay, I feel like you had to give him at least but a the season, thing is, bro. The Jamarcus Russell thing was mainly because he didn't try. Like he was had first overall pick talent, but he didn't try. Like he I, would I, skip I mean, film all the time. Look, Bryce all in all, man, tries. Look, all in all, I mean, because I think we need to get into the picks. Look, all in all, man, I, I'm rooting for Bryce. Like I know we like 
you know, we want the Panthers to suck because we want that second round pick to be high, which is likely going to happen. But look, Bryce, I hope, I hope, you know, I hope you, I hope Bryce Young takes this as a learning opportunity and learns from Andy Dalton, which they should have done to start off the season. Uh, like first season, like the his rookie season, not rush him into the Panthers, and I just hope he like gets another opportunity somewhere else, man. I think it's probably done in, in Carolina, and honestly, if you're Bryce, you're happy it's done in Carolina. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be the savior of that franchise. That franchise sucks. They don't deserve you, man. Go prove and go somewhere else, man. That's the best situation for Bryce. Dude, I are even gonna offer for the Adam dude. Like, I think a team would give up a seventh round pick. Zach Wilson, as bad he, as he was. Got got uh traded. Yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the picks. You know. Yeah. Let's make it like a quick fire. You know, and then maybe talk about some stuff because. I bet. Yeah. I bet. Anyways, Patriots, Jets. Uh, I think this is. <laughs> I... Hmm. Is this gonna be one of my things? Probably not. Nah, I don't feel. I'm not feeling like some sense of uh, being an upset here. I think the Jets win this. Give me Aaron Rodgers in yeah. a definitive win, thirty-four. No, no, twenty-four, tw- twenty-four, six. I, I, I say twenty-four, fourteen. But you know, who's coming? Let's do scores. Uh, Giants, Let's do scores for fun. Let's do scores for fun. Sure, sure. Giants, Browns. Um, hmm. give me the Browns, man. Give Brown. me the Browns. I, I trust their defense to win the game, bro. Yeah. And I think Daniel Jones just, I don't know, he's Daniel cooked. Jones, no, they, Daniel Jones had a good game last game. It's just that. So a good game is, like, is uh, really like. Compared to Daniel Jones' standards. Okay, okay, I was going to say. Uh, okay, but. You know, I mean, that they lost uh, to, be fair, to, be fair, to be fair, they didn't, they weren't able to kick field goals or extra mm-hmm. points because they, Graham Gano is injured. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. yeah. I, I oh, see yeah. the Browns win like thirty. No, they put up like twenty four to twenty four. I don't 13. even think they put up for twenty four. I, I think, think they, they put, put up twenty four. Like, I put I up put... a stinker. Like I think this is gonna be an absolute stinker of like, like pfft, I don't even know. Like I think like Deshaun. Seven, I think Deshaun has like. I think this can be one of Deshaun's best games. I think it's gonna be like seven to three or something like that. Because Deshaun already used up all his powers against the Jaguars, and that was nothing. So mm-hmm. you know. Um, Packers, Titans, the Malik Willis revenge game. Yeah, I'm gonna say Packers. I, I feel like this. Dude, is- you've been you've been honestly a Packers fan at this point, man. Cause I I don't see the Titans. Winning. Hey, Packers That's- Nation, you got a new fan here, bro. You got a new fan. Soback Sports. He's your fan. He picked you guys every week. Nah, bro, I'm never picking the Packers, bro. Give me the Tennessee Titans to win this game. Lou Levis, man, this is a must win for the Tennessee Titans. I you want the fumbled? Titans to win. You have you know, fumbled. No, you have fumbled twice. T- uh, Will Levis this time. Hey, look, shout out to you, bro. Thank you for giving us a win, week one. I love you, Will Levis, the Mayo man himself. But this week, you get your revenge. Come on, man. Mate, come on. Put some extra mayo in that I coffee, want, man. I want to. I want to say it. Give me the Titans. Give me the Titans in the ugly one, twenty to seventeen, man. Mm-hmm. Insane like, that this is fifty-seven to forty-three. I get it. Like, listen, I get it. Like, you know. The defense can carry you long term. Like that's the thing. Like oh no. no 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 this game this game real quick. This defense first of all the Colts defense they don't have DeForest Buckner. No that's I get huge. that. Yeah. That's huge for the Bears. I was getting to that. Like listen, yeah yeah, yeah that's not bad. You know you're good you're good. I'm just saying yeah, yeah. like listen, defense carries you for a while, but yeah you know. I think that this game is going to be a little bit better. I think Caleb's going to improve a little bit more. Um, I'm not expecting any like. Any insane like stat line? I'm kind of over like over that. You know, predicting two touch. Let's first get a touchdown. You know, let's start small, right? We already did. We already got to 100 yards. Now get the touchdown, right? And the thing is, what's common denominator for all the rookie quarterbacks right now is that none of them scored a touchdown yet. I mean, Jane Dennis has two rushing touchdowns, but I mean, I'm talking about passing. Touchdowns. Okay, okay. All right. And that, that counts more than rushing for like, two of them are not playing, right? Drake may uh Panics is not playing. Yeah, but they don't count because they don't play. Okay. But Bears, I predicted them to win in my video. Um, and I still stand by that. But the thing is, the real keys for them to win are very simple. Literally, just you know, have some semblance of a scheme comes to pass blocking. Oh no. Even better, try pass blocking. 
I think that will solve everything you have. Like literally every, everything will fall into place. And um, the thing is right now it's kind of like in flux because Iberflu said today in the press conference saying that he's not changing any personnel for the no. wide, the, which is, which makes sense a lot. Okay. Here, no, it doesn't make any sense, man. No, no, no. Wait, you are, you are, you are no. no, I'm telling you, it makes sense in a in, in certain sense because A, you need to have chemistry. And the thing is what really bit the bears in the behind last year was that the offensive line kept switching over and over the amount of iterations we've had of an offensive line kept changing time after time in the beginning of last season and throughout the season due to injuries. And the fact of the matter is now we have a healthy offensive line and it's all about developing that chemistry, which right now we don't see any, but you know, we saw, we saw like flashes in the beginning of the first game uh, against the Titans. That ship has sailed when it came to the Texans. And now it's all about, you know. They didn't play that good in the Titans. Well, they did play it a little bit better. He didn't get sacked four to- seven times, that's for sure. But now you're playing against a Colts defense that doesn't really have all their weapons on defense. And Lash Latu is also potentially going to be questionable for this game. Um, he's gonna play. He's gonna play. He's gonna. But he's, he's gonna, gonna play. play. But like, you expect to see a better game for, like, a really good mm-hmm. game for Latu Latu. But, um, I would say that this game is gonna be, um, a lot closer than you think. And but I think I think that right now it is the offensive line and defensive line. It's like it's like that Newton's law thing. You know how like a unstoppable force meets an, an, an immovable object. Uh, it's more like. A stoppable force meets a movable object, meaning that both of them just like move each other and it doesn't nothing happen. They're both bad in a sense. The offensive line for the Bears and the defensive line for the uh, the Colts. But yeah, at the end of the day, give me the Bears. Right. Enough, give me yapping. But wait, 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 let me get my want more analysis. If you want more analysis, check out my video I made about my week three predictions for this game. It's really good. Right. And yeah. I there's three words run the ball the te- the Indianapolis Colts have the worst running defense in the league they rank 32 they allow 274 rushing yards I like that it's crazy that's crazy yeah you yeah. never know maybe Caleb no, no, no. Have a rushing game no no, no 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 like it's for running backs but like Look, run the ball, run the ball, like just run the ball. But run the uh, ball, but I want to see passes. That's all. No, 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 I know. Okay, look, Caleb, I give you two weeks, man. Look, I know, I know. Sobek said that, you know, for one touchdown. Nah, 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 no, 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 nah. Caleb, I need to see more because you got praise, man. You got pra- you got the Mahomes treatment coming in, bro. People play praising you, and I still believe in you, but. No, nah, I mean, look, I, I'll give you a pass last week. You played against the Texans. You played against the Titans. Two good defenses. This defense is not that good. I need a monster game from you. I don't need 300 yards. That's too much to ask. Give me a game where you're competent and you look good. Give me a game where you go to the red zone and actually convert touchdowns. Whether it's a running back, t- running touchdown, passing touchdown, I need some competent play because your defense cannot keep on Mm-hmm. Uh, saving you every game. Like, I, look, I get it. You're a rookie. You're gonna be great, but I need to see more. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing patience. I'm losing patience already. Dude, already. But no, listen, I, I think no, it's more not. about it's more no. about being patient. But it's also listen. No, but like, like, okay, let's be honest, man. Let's let let's be completely honest. I know, like, this is probably the longest prediction we're gonna do. The Bears got rid of Justin Fields for an upgrade. An upgrade, right? And look, I know he's going to be an upgrade. Upgrade I need over something. the long term. No, 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 no. You don't get Keenan. At, no, first of all, you don't get Keenan. The, Ryan Poles wants to contend, all right? He wants to contend. We're not going to win a Super Bowl in our first year, dude. We're not winning a Super Bowl, but we need to go to the playoffs. We were close okay. last year. Okay. I, like well, Whether you like that 7-10 and 10 or not, we were close last year because we could have won those three games. And we clearly thought that the quarterback was a problem in Justin Fields. We upgraded with Caleb Williams. You have the best situation possible. Please just look competent, man. 
Don't but look the situation trash. Needs an offensive line too, but no, I because guess. like we're saying, Bryce Young's having a bad situation, bro. We got Caleb has the best situation, bro. Like I need to see more from him. I think we yeah. will see more from him. I am not complaining about Caleb. I I really like him. I want him to play well. Um, enough of me yapping. Give me the Chicago Bears to win this thirty to seventeen, man. Mm. Anthony Richardson is horrible. I've I've been trying to tell y'all he's been terrible. He had three interceptions against the Packers. Like nah. The Bears are going to capitalize a lot of mistakes on Anthony Richardson. Contain Anthony Richardson. He's going to get some runs. You know, he's a running back. So make sure to, you know, put a spy on him and make sure to contain him. But, yeah, give me the Bears 30-17. I think that the Texans for this game uh, is going to be a very rude awakening for the Minnesota Vikings. But they're going to be good. They're going to play well. But I think that they're just going to lose a close game to the Houston Texans. Uh, The only reason why it's a close game is because of the way the Vikings scheme defensively. Um, Insane amount of blitzes for Brian Flores and his defensive scheming. And you can't ever count out Kevin O'Connell, too. So I I think that it's going to be a lot closer, but Houston wins this. Look, you got a good point. That defense looks scary. I it is. I I mean, I, Houston's I, defense looks scary too. Very scary. So I don't know how the Minnesota will counter that, but no, nah, but they don't have Jefferson, playing. then they're kind of screwed. No, Jefferson's playing. Jefferson's playing. Oh, he is? Oh, thank God. He's playing. He's playing. He's, but, yeah, same. Uh look. Can I see the Vikings win this? Yeah. I mean, I thought the Niners would win. And like after being the Niners, I'm not counting on the Vikings, man. I, I just can't. I can't count them out. I I just can't. They're there is a team you can't count on, man. Like they're a great team, yeah. um, but I'm gonna go with the Texans winning this game, twenty-one seventeen. I think it's a close game, twenty-one yeah. seventeen. Give me the Texans. Saints or Eagles? Ah, uh, that's crazy. Sixty-two thirty-eight is crazy. Give me the Saints though. I I think the Eagles are just they're just in shambles, man. I've been trying to. I, that's why I picked the Cowboys to win the. I know they're both in shambles. I can't even say that they're both in shambles, but um. I, I believe in the Cowboys more. I think the Eagles, Sirianni, there's a problem there. There just there is a problem. You can't lose. You that Monday night football game was just a heartbreaker for that team. Um, the defense is not good. Derek Carr is gonna slice and dice them out. Um, give me the Saints to win this. Twenty no, thirty one twenty. Mm-hmm. I think they shock everyone. Fifty fifth. This is the cleanest thing. Wait, I you, didn't give your, you didn't give your prediction, right? Oh did yeah, you? I said I said the Saints as well. I'm like, oh, you did. There's oh, really yeah. not much to say. I'm like the Eagles didn't play that well against Kirko, and you know the defense is very. Kirko shit. changed. I Kirko thought changed. that. I thought that the Eagles' defense was going to be a lot better. Um, especially. I with told the you, it's not good. It's it's just their secondary sucks. Hey, I'm it, telling you right now. Listen, that you know passing up of Jalen Carter and getting Dar- Darnell Wright. Looking a lot good right now. Uh, d- did you not see the Texans game? Did you not see our offensive line? Yeah, Darnold was part of the problem, bro. He right, part of the problem. Yeah, I get, I agree. But overall, he's been one of the best rookies like last year, and he protects. He, listen, he had an uncharacteristic game last year. No, I'm not so saying like, Darnold is bad. I'm not saying he's bad, but like you can't say like, oh, he's way better than Jalen Carter. Like that's I mean, just ridiculous. I'm sorry, Jalen Carter didn't do that well in the latter half of last season, and this season uh, is this continuation of that. I gotta check those stats, man. But uh, I'm pretty sure he played pretty good. Nah, he was like he was kind of overrated, to be fair. But you know, but he is good. Don't get me wrong; he's athletic. But nah, I'm I'm glad that we at least invested something in an offensive lineman. So you know, as listen, and the thing is, we got even like edge rushers now so it's like i don't really need it anyways los angeles chargers and Pittsburgh steelers mm, close game and i think these teams are really this is gonna be a really fun game i want to i want to hear your prediction this, this is gonna be a huge test for the steelers i think because jim harbaugh and his defenses and like his scheming offensively as well like I, and the thing is, they're going to run the ball a lot. I know TJ Watt in the defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, really good. So they're going to pose a tra- threat for the offense. For yeah, I feel like for it's sure. just going to be a clash of defenses right now. Because on one hand, you have the Chargers, which have Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack. On the other hand, you have TJ Watt, who's a one-man wrecking crew. So what are you going to say? Like, I think it's just going to be a defensive slugfest. 
and there's literally no offense happening except for maybe like a few running rushing touchdowns and a bunch of kicks. So I think I... Justin is going to manage the game really well. Um, but I think this is where the road ends for him. I think, unfortunate, or do I really want that? I don't know. Like, I think that it could go either I... way. That's why it's 50 50 because it's like, hey, it's I... your prediction, man. I think. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Hey, no, be, be honest, man. You could say it. This is the. This is the Since this is a 50 50, I'm going to give an exception and I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers just for the sake of it. I know you wanted to pick the Chargers, man. I know you wanted a little bit, but hey, look, respect the pick. Look, you know me. I've been high on the Steelers, man. I, I, I've been high on the Steelers this year. Look, who who the Chargers beat, man? Like, who have they been to like, get all this respect? Like, who are they being? The Raiders? The, they demolished them. The the Panthers? That's a bye they week. They also demolished them. That's that's a, that's a you're supposed to demolish the Panthers. Right. You're, so that's a, that's they, a, they they stood on business both those games. Yes. There's no like they, left for doubt, room for but doubt. Like, like 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 why are we thinking the Chargers the good that are good, man? Like they we're they're acting like they're such a good team. No, I don't care about Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh has done nothing right now. He hasn't played. This is a big test for him. Yeah, Mike Tomlin's defense. And yeah. look, I, I, I'm sorry. This Pittsburgh Steelers beat better teams, in my opinion. Obviously, the Broncos are not that good, but they beat the Atlanta Falcons, who just beat the Eagles on prime time. Like, yeah. I think it's going to be a defensive game. But you know, my boy Justin Fields, he gonna go crazy this game. He's gonna go crazy this game, bro. I'm telling y'all, Justin Fields is gonna go crazy. He's gonna have. At 200 yards. This is when he breaks 200 yards. He's going to break 200 yards this game. Interesting. Okay. He's going to have two touchdowns, and he's going to end. I know I said he was going to end the QB battle last week. I was terribly off, but he got the win. I was right. He got the win. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers to win this game 20 to 12. Mm. I don't think I don't think Harbaugh scores a touchdown, man. You, you're, you, mean, you're, you mean Herbert. Her- Harbaugh, like his defense. I mean, it's like, uh, fine, Herbert. Yeah, I don't think Herbert scores a touchdown. And first of all, Herbert is questionable to even play this game. No, he's going to play. Easton Stick might play this game, bro. No, he's going to play. Okay, but- even if he plays, there's no way they win. There's no way they win. Do you really trust Quinn Johnson? I know he played good against the Panthers, but anybody looks good against the Panthers. Well, you never know. They might have figured him out. So if he's good, wait, wait, wait. he played I- great I- the first game, too. Wait, let the me first- ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. How, what predict Justin Fields' stat line? It's predicted. Mm-hmm. Okay, to be fair, against the Broncos, real quick, he should have had more yards. He should have. Because of the penalties. Defense, though. So I think that he's going to have less. I think he's going to have, like, without penalty yards, it's going to be, like, maybe more, slightly more. Like, about 150. 150? You don't think it breaks 200? Mm-mm. I don't think the scheme of Arthur Smith or the right Arthur Smith and Tomlin love what he's doing right now. I don't think they're going to break that. And he's going to have the occasional bomb down the field, but you know, unless it's called back, like, dude, this is what I like about Justin Fields right now is he's protecting the ball. That's the thing. He needs to just continue doing that, and then sooner or later things will start clicking. If he just protects the ball, gains that confidence, and continues to play mistake-free football, that confidence goes up. And then he can start doing all this plays. So, That's how so, okay. Mahomes started out too. Yes, like, okay, so yesterday, yesterday, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Mahomes started like that too. He was a game manager. But yesterday, I did a little thing real quick about like how Justin Fields can get uh, four thousand yards because I, I really want him to get four thousand yards. And uh, he has to average two hundred forty-eight yards from now on to. Get to four thousand. I think that's not gonna happen. That's, that ain't happening with the Pittsburgh Steelers, my guy. <laughs> like, if he already is only averaging only like one hundred forty. Like, I think like he's only one hundred forty. No, but like above Caleb, he's like at least a hundred or two hundred. No, you know Caleb has to average the same too. Yeah, I know that. But I'm saying like for Justin. He only has a hundred ish or hundred fifty something. I I don't know how many yards exactly, but he's I'm pretty sure it's not that far off from Caleb. It's like total for the season. So yeah, he has to he has those work cut out for him. Anyway, so let's move on to the Bucks, and I think this is not really much of a it's pretty it's pretty 
Yeah, give me the Bake Show, bro. The Bake Show MVP conversation just keeps going week after week after week. Bake Show, come on, man. MVP, come on. Come on now. I know you okay. I know you want to say that. I know you want to I say do. that. I do. I would be happy if he wins. All right, the Bake, Show wins at, Bake Show wins at 38-3, bro. Come on. That's going to be the mm. biggest blowout. Yeah. And speaking of blowouts, uh, I think the Vegas Raiders are going to blow out the Panthers easily. Um, actually, this, yeah. this is the Devontae Adams like game, bro. Yeah, I think and Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers yeah. cooked this I think, game. I think the Raiders win this one. Uh give me what them. I think that was. I was be real. Vegas dude, Brock Bowers looks so good, dude. He looks yeah. so good. I guess I, Baltimore too. Dude, oh my Ra- god. Panthers, uh yeah, they, they score like probably six points. And I I I got this all like 30, 40 to six, bro. Like dude, I, I, I remember back then when okay, this is like a Brock Bowers tangent. But back then, when I when we were doing mock drafts and stuff, I was like, if we didn't get a wide receiver that we like, like Malik Neighbors or Rome, I was really hoping we get Brock Bowers, dude. Oh, I would not want Brock Bowers. I would I rather go with him, I would, him and I would, Cole Komet. dude. Caleb I would rather go him. Nah. would have been a Kelsey and Mahomes. Nah, nah, nah. Here, the reason but, why is because you already have Komet, man. Like you don't need another Komet's tight end. Good. I'm not saying that he's bad or anything, but like you know, Komet could be there. And then Brock Bowers could just learn from him too. But you're paying, you're already paying your tight end fifty million dollars. That's not that much nowadays, dude. Like, listen, but like over five, no. four years, dude. So would you rather get a tackle? Yeah, I, of course. But like that's later on. That was like the later pick. I'm talking about premium picks. Nah, you, know? you would rather go. You rather go for a tackle, man. Nah, but all the tackles would have been gone by then. Joe Alt would have been gone by then. So you would have been gone, but JC Latham would have been gone, but then you could have got someone else. I mean, nah, we'll that's no point then. Like, if you're gonna get a premier tackle, you might as well get Joe Alt or Latham. But anyways, off that Panthers, we already had a whole discussion. Vegas wins. Um, yeah. Give me the give me the Seahawks for this one. Uh I sh- yeah, I'll get the Seahawks. Yeah, Seahawks, yeah. I mean, this, these are all pretty straightforward picks, I think. But I think, well, I feel like there's gonna be some upsets, man. We're gonna be getting some of these wrong. Like, yeah, I, I just, yeah. I just know it. We're just gonna get Seahawks, something wrong. Uh, Mike McDonald's been good. Um, Tua is on the injury reserve, and um, yeah, the Dolphins yeah, are kind of like in. I mean, ugly game. Give me like seventeen, sixteen Seahawks. Yeah, it's gonna be very bad. But like, like the other games the Seahawks played, like. It's not gonna be fun, but it's gonna be defensive. Hey, they, hey, they're gonna start three 0 though. So, ooh, ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, let me go first with this one. Yeah, go ahead. Ravens, Cowboys. Ravens season's basically on the line right here. It's it, no team has ever went to the playoffs zero and three. You know, a lot of things are on the line. Super Bowl aspirations for the Ravens. Um, you know, they they should win this game. The Cowboys coming off of forty eight to no, what is it? Forty four nineteen loss to the uh. Saints, right at I home. Wait, 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 these, wait. Yeah, these teams are gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing: the Ravens should win, but I didn't like what their offensive line did. Give me the Dallas Cowboys, man! Give me the Dallas Cowboys here. Give me them boys to win this game. Um, I got the Cowboys winning this game. Thirty-one, thirty-four. I think this is an offensive game. Like, I'm being so serious. Lamar's going to give everything he's got. And Dak's going to give everything he's got. Give me them boys to win this game. Come on. Come on, Dak. This is your moment. You got paid the big money. This is your moment to win this game. America's game of the week. Come on. Dallas Cowboys win. Give me the Dallas Cowboys to win 34-31. I hate... I don't know, dude. I don't know who to even choose. And, the, and, no, and Dak Prescott ends the Ravens season right there. He ends the Ravens season. Both these teams. I have friends that are fans of both these teams, and I don't I want either of them to be happy right now. But um, who would I rather have had? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro's going off a pick like that, man. Because at this point, it's I don't really care. I think both of them are desperate to win. Um, no, the Ravens are more desperate because no, the I get that. They got oh, the I get win. That. But the thing is, they came off of a blowout versus the Raider Ravens. Like but the thing with the Cowboys is here's the thing. You're, you're forgetting about this. Ravens lose this game. They play the Bills next. Then they play yeah, the Texans next. So like you're having a gauntlet of matches. I mean of games. So the Cowboys, they lose this game. Okay, yeah, they're, they're one and two, but they get a bounce back against the Giants. 
Yeah, but like they have nothing. To, I guess there's in that sense they're playing with house money, but. But yeah, it's your pick. I picked the Cowboys one thirty four thirty one. I think the Ravens are gonna, uh, but Harbaugh is annoying. Uh, also, McCar- dude, both these teams are trash. What am I talking like at this point? Like, I was gonna hey, say Mark, they're they're gonna I'm, figure out and give it to Derrick Henry and just and also a by the, by a little segue here. Uh, why are the Ravens eighth in power ranking when they're zero and two? They're last in the division. No, I just never understood power ranking. Like, shouldn't it be the best teams or like they're playing good? It shouldn't be the, off a of name value. Like, I, I guess I, there has some name value, but like Lamar, power I'm rankings sorry, bro. are very subjective. Lamar, anyway. yeah, whatever. But yeah, at 49ers, easy. Rams are beaten to hell. Like, they are they are just broken. Yeah, they're, they're the 49ers are winning this game. Mm-hmm. Um, look. I think Tutu Atwell will be going crazy this game because he's gonna be the number one receiver. And you know what Stafford does like to receivers? They he like force feeds in the ball. Look, Brock. Hey, look, little, little another segue, man. This so many like storylines here. Brock Purdy, this is your moment. Debo Samuel's out. Christian McCaffrey's out. You want to shut me up? You want to shut all the haters out there saying that you need a super team to be good? And you're still mid after that? Look, go out this week and ball out. Ball out against a lot of teams. Before and win games and look good. That's all I got. That's all I got to say with Brock Purdy. If he goes out there and plays really well without Debo Samuel and without Christian McCaffrey, I will. I will literally stop hating. I will literally stop hating. I will. I will praise you, Brock Purdy. This is your moment. This is your moment. You've been waiting. And this is another thing. This is really good for the Niners to test if Brock Purdy is the guy because they're gonna have to pay him after the season. If Brock Purdy struggles. Without Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey, it might be something to not pay him. I'm being so serious because I understand the quarterback position is so important, but you don't want to pay a guy that you're going to have to pay $60 million because if you pay Brock Purdy, then you got to get rid of some of these players because the salary cap's not going to work out. So that's all I got to say, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. You still got Ayuk and Kittle, so he should be playing pretty good. Yeah, we have a couple games to go through. Yeah, yeah we'll, um, we can speak to some right. of these. Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. I think the Cardinals win this one. That's my sneaky pick. That's what I feel. I have a feeling. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this game. Oh, this is tough. Cardinals? I have Lions? a really bad feeling about this game. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Lions, I man. I think Jared Goff is kind of actually... overrated. No, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the Cardinals. I, I agree with you. I, I agree with you on this one. I think the Cardinals last week they unlocked something. I think uh, it's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. I yeah. think this is like, it's gonna be like 28-24. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kyle, Kyle Murray MVP conversation. He's looking good. He's looking very good. Same with Marvin Harrison. Oh but, yeah, I told you. I told you he's gonna be a Hall of Famer. I told you. Yeah, that's too early, but yeah, I know. But dude, I told you. I told you he's gonna be top five, bro. Chiefs and the Chiefs with the trusty refs on their side versus the bro, Falcons. Bro, we're, not, we're not. We're not gonna do this, bro. We, this is what we're not gonna do on the podcast. Yeah, we is are. Blame the refs. Th- that was pass interference. Yeah, I know. But well, what do you want? We're this refs to the not- other times. What do you want? To, okay, I, 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 okay. This is generally I hate like Bengals fans and like like people like Ravens fans that want to like just like. Always say, oh, Patrick Mahomes gets bailed, bro. Like, look, I'm not even a Chiefs fan, but I like, okay, obviously I like Patrick Mahomes, but it's like at some point, excuses are excuses. Like, it, it's getting old. Like, you're but blaming the it ref. It happens to Mahomes, he complains. Like, when? The amount of times he's complained last time when Josh Allen won. You know what he does, though? He shakes that off and actually wins. He wins. Josh Allen hasn't won. I root for Josh Allen. I like him. Joe Burrow. Okay, cool. You called it Burrowhead. You know what you did? You woke up the beast, and you've not beaten him ever since. This ain't Burrowhead no more. It's Arrowhead. And look, Jamar Chase, you're you're a sorry, pathetic loser, man. I'm sorry. I I don't like you. Um, obviously you don't care if you, I you don't like I don't like you, but like I just think that Jamar Chase is and the Bengals are just annoying. Look, there it, it was clearly pass interference. I'm tired of the the Chiefs getting their accomplishments taken away because they they were being compared to as like oh it's the refs. Carrying them and stuff like that. No, I mean, it stop, is true. Stop saying have, that. Like, I, I'm not saying flags, dude, so. every team gets flags, though. I, I don't yeah, say it, it's, but, it's the game. 
Yeah, I know. But yeah. Anyway, it's still me, good. Um, give me the Chiefs. Uh, give the me, yeah, give me the Chiefs to win this. Uh, I think the Falcons will give a fight, but I think it'll be 28. 20, 28, 20. Pacheco's out, so that's something you got to monitor. Carson but uh, Car- yeah, I picked him up. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, he's, hopefully, he does good. I don't know about that, but yeah, Buffalo Bills, I think, are gonna win. Or actually, no, Josh Allen always faces against Josh Allen and somehow loses to Josh Allen. So, you know, no, nah, I think the Jack season's over here. Give me the Buffalo Bills. I, I think, think Josh Allen game. Also, no, I think, game. I think Josh Allen wins this, man. This is you know, Josh Allen. Game. You know, Josh Allen is, uh, I think he's 8 1 in Monday Night Football games. I guess so. Josh wait, Allen two, is him. Wait, there's two Monday Night Football games? Yeah, there's two. It's a doubleheader. Oh, uh, it's one of those. Yeah, oh. they did one of those last year with like Steelers, yeah, yeah. Browns, and then Panthers, some other garbage, garbage team. team. Oh, Panthers, yeah. Seahawks. Panthers, Se- I forgot what it was, but yeah. give, me the, give me the Bills. I think the Bills win this uh, definitively 31 13. Yeah. Jags are the season's over. Trevor Lawrence, that that contract will go down as one of the worst contracts in NFL history. Now, no, 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 no. I can't say it because Deshaun Watson's contract is worse, but it will go down as one of the worst contracts. It will go down because you paid him Joe Burrow money, money and you basically cannot sign anybody after like after next season. You can't, you right. can't. So Anyways, it's it's over. The final game: Washington Commanders, Cincinnati Bengals. What do you got? Ooh, you go first. You go first. Bengals. Bengals? Yeah, Dude, I'm going with Bengals. Bang. have a back, put back game. Dude, I don't know, man. Not ready. I don't know. This could be a, such a trap game. Like, I, I think it's the, the build up. What is it? The Jaguars is more of a trap game than this. No, 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 no. Tra- the Jags suck. They They, they, they suck. But the commanders also suck. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because they kicked six field goals against the Giants. I no, yeah. I'll give me the Bengals. Give me the Bengals to win this like 28. No, 20. No, I think they, they put up a scoreboard. 35-13, bro. It's it, I just don't know if the commanders can contend, bro. Like they they just can't score field goals against the Giants. I don't know how they're gonna score against Lou Anna Romo's defense, bro. Like, like you mean, maybe Pat- you mean if they you mean they score only field goals. They only scored field goals against the Giants. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to score against Lou Anaromo's defense. Like I, because yeah. the Bengals defense, I don't know why they always turn up when they play against Patrick Mahomes. Like it just doesn't make sense. I think they match up really well with Patrick Mahomes. But you no, know, I got to give a shout out to the Bengals defense though, because we're talking about Burrowhead. Most of those games that were won, it was not because of Joe Burrow. It was because of that defense held Patrick Mahomes to three points in the in the AFC Championship game. Played really, really well against them. Makes Patrick Mahomes have really bad games. And the Bengals have a pretty good defense. So give me them to win this game decisively and get their first win of the season. Yeah. And with that, we have concluded all our picks for the week three. I think I'm I think I'm pretty confident with what we have we have or at I least think I have week, selected. I think this week we'll have less upsets because mm-hmm. I mean it's I don't know, it's any given Sunday, but I don't know. I sucked last week. My mom my was seven to nine. So yeah. I, Anyways. All right, yeah. folks. Well, that was it for this episode of the so back sports podcast. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What would you pick? What were some picks that you think you would happen? Or we picked, but you think that could happen the opposite way. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Always remember to like and subscribe. And do you have any closing remarks? I really, man, just subscribe to So Bad Sports. Uh, you know, get into give him a thousand subscribers. You know, like I always say. Um, hey, man, get you get you to uh, you know, get your new channel. How about you yeah, shout out that new channel? It's a new channel, man. Like I've been saying. Uh, so unfortunately, I got a copyright strike on my old channel. Uh, so it's actually slashing up next, not got next for my other channel. But next time, put no. that as your this handle. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I mean, I don't know. I, just, I was just lazy to. Change yeah. it, but you know, just go subscribe, subscribe to both of our channels. Uh, you know, we, we put out content like every day. We're very passionate about the sport, so um, yeah, that that's all, right. all I gotta say. I'm I'm just excited for the Bears. Like that's the only game I really care about. Like, Bears and Steelers, obviously, I care about theirs. But there's a lot of good games to see this uh this week. Just, how about this? Before we like end it, let's talk about one more thing. Let's see what what game do you think is gonna be the best game of the week? Real quick. Mm. 
Um, I think the Cowboys Ravens. Yeah, I think that's the one I would go to too. I think that's going to be the more interesting. Y'all comment down below. Y'all comment down below what game you guys are uh, most looking forward to seeing. For me, it's obviously the Bears, but if I had to go next, it'll be the Cowboys Ravens because the Ravens season's on the line. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's about it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.